we're here today and we're going to talk about longevity of pain. Sometimes people, this is a good if somebody's looking for a kitchen or whatever, sometimes we get a lot of bad advice. They say the word latex or water base and won't last for a kitchen. If I told you this one, this door here, it was done about 12, 14 years ago. I'm not sure exactly. I'd have to pull out the bill. We're going to repaint it. When I first opened the shop, I wanted to learn how to really run the CNC. So I took this job next. I laugh at it because you told me how much I, I charge. I don't know if that's true. I hope not. Um, but I really want to learn how to run the CNC. See right here the corners where these doors? And I always thought at that time, CNC doors were cheaper. You know, like they were, uh, you know, somebody, a senior or somebody just want to put new doors, not spend a lot. This was a rental unit and I totally agree with what they did here. But the only thing they didn't foresee is renters not taking care of things. Now this is all cut, a cut, and it's all dented here, you can feel it all along here. And they, for whatever reason, they took the top of the door, and I, I guess they maybe scratched a little there, and now we're going to fix all that up, and we're going to repaint it. Now the nice thing is that I, I put, put all these panels here so I could do all this on site, so I'm going to but I won't, I won't tell the owner of this, but it's not that bad of shape. But I'm glad that he's painting because, you know, it's 12 years old. And the UVs, if you see the window, we got a big window over there. The UVs over time is just going to burn the latex. All right? So it's important to do it before. Don't, don't call me when it's 15 years or 20 years and this is all peeling. Then you're talking about replacing the doors. So they have a nice kitchen, and when you get to it, uh, best thing when you do it, do yourself a little map. When I take them off the holes, I'll put A, B, C, D, E. Because when you, when you start putting this back together, some of these doors look exactly alike, and you don't want to get mixed up. Because it, it, it doesn't look big at first, but when you start popping off four or five doors, all of a sudden you get overwhelmed. Let's see how we make that. I do have repairs to do in those drawers. All right. All right. So I think I skipped about. I think I did it in total YouTube fashion. I skipped about eight steps, but here we are on the refinishing, and I managed to repair all here. It was like I think it was a cat damaged it, scratched it. And then water got into it and swelled up the MDF. So this is my last part of the repair. I just put a little putty there, white, and I'm just shaping it. The rest of it, I, I 320. When I say 320, that's going like this and getting that nice finish. And I think I got this pretty good. I, I just gotta go very lightly. You see the ridge right there? I don't want to lose that detail. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to keep it even. And there, I got it. You know? Alright, let's try the other one. Here, there's a little more tear, but that's not from the damage. That's just from the, the, the previous paint job, you know? Shrank over time, but... I'll be able to paint that. Nice thing with the dark blue is that, believe it or not, with the white, it shows every little defect. That's it. I'm just taking the shape of it, just kind of going in there. And we use these 320s. They have a foam in their back. There are a few brands that have made this. this. This one's made by Ruth, you know. If you get your hands on this, this is a cat's meow. This stamp is really nice. Right. And I think I got it pretty good.
Okay, that's pretty good. All right, Christy. So follow me when I spray it, right? The paint I used was Aurora from Campbell's, and the primer I used was Ben. It's a shellac from Zinger. It's been around for a long time. It's a little tricky to spray. It can also be rolled very nicely. So I spray, but remember, the Aurora is designed to go through a spray gun. Um, a lot of the latex paints that you see over the counter or whatever are thick as molasses. They're not meant really to go through a gun. Yes, they'll say they could be sprayed, but you know, you, you, you gotta you gotta get an airless gun uh, and, and at that you better get top of the line to try to pump it through that pump because it's so thick. This paint was amazing. I mean, that's one coat that's going on. Look at that blue. Doesn't it look almost done? So, you know, two coats, I'd do about three because there was a lot of damage to these doors to hide. And also, it's it brushed like a dream. I just used a regular brush. I couldn't believe how well it came out with a brush on the moldings and under and the undermount moldings. Uh, it's hot. <laughs> My partner says no when I say it's hot. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Um, okay, so we've sprayed it all. Now we're going to put the doors back on. We had to paint all the molding. And we used the Aurora for 1K clear top coat. Um, I gotta say though, I used a, a Gencha, and if I screw up on this uh, pronunciation, I apologize. And then, as you can see on our other video, just same type of water base from Campbell, but they're a little different. The one thing about this one is I was able to take a brush. And really give it a slick coat. Look, if you look up there, it looks sprayed. Like I would never spray inside a place like this. Um, it's just too much liability, you know. I mean, I'm just, it's, I need to tape it and everything else. So it came out pretty good. Um, what it was was to wait. The customers willing to buy new doors because this they had all the water come here, come down. But this is a rental unit. And I didn't want them, I made these doors, but I told you a different story. But I didn't want them to spend the money on the doors. Only because it was good after bad, because it's, you guys still deal with the cabinets. The cabinets got water damaged. So, you know, you're not, you're not going to hide that. We fixed the drawers in here, if you take a look, come on in. I put a solid wood edge there. Alright. And I'm going to put this screw, I forgot a screw there. So, it was, it was just one of those things that, you know, he, they came, they came in to take a look, and they basically, you know, I think he understood what I meant. You know, that, that it wasn't worth it, it was just better, like he, you know, this is like, they're going to start now. This is a $2,000 job minimum. Don't do it any less. Like, I've seen painters come around and start saying, yeah, I'm going to do this for $500. I mean, seriously. And if, if you're hiring somebody and they're coming in here with a brush and going on this, and they're not taking the doors and spraying them, don't hire them. You really got to spray this in the shop. Like, these were heavily damaged. It, it was a job and a half. To get done. It's not perfect. I thought maybe they might get a little pissed off because, you know, it wasn't the nice the top here because it was all water damaged, not as crisp, you know. But they seem okay with it. And right here I'm just adjusting the drawer, right? So you can see my reveal. I'm pretty even now. If they were ever so slightly off, now I'm good. And that's it. I love the color though. I mean, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. And let's come back and see how this looks at the end. All right, so the job is done. It was a unique job in the sense that they they did it as investment property. Now their daughter gets older and come, sort of coming back home, if you want to use that sense. So she had her own, uh, scheme or whatever and I totally agree with this color I'm loving it
and you can see that it's impossible to go spray here inside and spray the doors and do a decent job you know there's no way so if you're gonna get this done make sure it's starting at about two thousand dollars if you're getting it cheap and you're saying five hundred dollars you're more than likely going to get a cheap job you know it really does have to be this color has to be sprayed on you can't do a decent job with a roller if you're doing it for yourself and trying to save money or whatever spend the time with the primer get a lot of like get the there's an alcohol alcohol primer make sure the doors are clean clean and clean you know take an stp the best is always 320 and because you got a lot of grease over the years um that's it they're they're ecstatic about the job and yes i got paid <laughs> so that's always a good day thank you and subscribe subscribe subscribe